good morning. So currently, there's a lot of videos I have to edit. So I'm gonna start scheduling in my day for this last part of the day to just be editing videos because I have a lot to get to get done. Um, here's all my stuff. Whatever. Currently gonna be uh, watching some sales training and then going to charter uh, to discuss with Kevin, who's the regional director of the number of gyms in this area. And I would love to have the North Riverside location be the testing for different price points, different kinds of things of that nature, and then offer a solution of uh, digital marketing to that, um, oops, sorry. I always do that uh, to him to see what he thinks about the opportunities and ideas that I bring to the table. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to be going to the gym right now. It's about 9.30. I've been up since about 5.40. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, it's VCastCoach on Instagram and Vince underscore 97 on Snap. Follow me, bruh. Um, that's where I kind of get like the snippets that I'm not always able to pull the camera. Oh, like, no, I'm not always able to pull the camera out on. So if you want to see that, follow me on there. But that's the point of the day let's go so I didn't update like all day um, just got really busy uh, I was in a meeting with Kevin uh, the regional manager of charter um, and he's really psyched about what I'm planning on doing in facility for the company as far as um, staying within and what uh, my current position is in my bad as far as what my current position is going to be there it really comes down to um, one, if I get this job, so they both told me to reach out to Dan and apply for the uh, marketing job, the head of marketing for Charter uh, quit, so that position is open and I told Dan I'm expressing my interest in that position, so I would be working out of the Burridge office, which is the first for me, I've never worked in an actual office before, so we'll see how that goes, I like the gym because it was, you get up and go, but I like trying, I'll try it, you know. Um, kind of scary to be honest a little bit scared uh, my life has progressed so fast in the last six months let alone two years from where I was to where I am now um, and honestly like it's kind of nuts like it really is nuts um, and I would really like to think like the mastermind brothers like uh, Nicholas um, Eric everyone who help me out so yeah I mean really once I get this and have a salary um, completely gonna be funding the business and try to one put more ads out targeting my lookalike audience targeting skinny fat as well as resolving and overcoming a lot of barriers that people face uh, and work on my sales uh, I did get offered in a position working for a high ticket closing agency um, as a closer because one of the basically they close for clients who want to and need uh, to expand and want to grow and they don't have time or they don't want to do the sales themselves so that's where someone like me would come in uh, as a closer and handle their just get on the phone with people and talk with uh, what they're trying to do and address and overcome objections so it would be really uh, knowing rebuttals, knowing where to go, believing in the product itself and that's one of the things that I've kind of seen a problem with. The reason I could sell PT and the reason that I can promote digital marketing is those two things that I firmly believe in as being uh, positives for where people need to go and it's just operating in that space that allows me to have it do the things that I like and want to do. Um, so really right now, it's coming down to, do I want to stay in facility at the gym and increase their sales working directly on the floor with their sales staff for less money but more freedom? And or do I want to take the higher salary increase for the short term and use that money to generate my business long term though taking the hit to the, my lifestyle? I would, however, try to bargain and talk with um, the COO and CEO currently to see what they're currently doing for marketing and get really get, get them on the digital space. It's 2018 and they don't have paid ads and that's really bad. So getting the digital ads up um, 
and then getting the content to create our brand story to really put everything together and do it that way so I'm gonna get to look at their numbers what they're working with where they're at and see what is the best way for us to create the brand story and brand identity and put the gym in a better spot so we can better you serve our customer and put them in a better spot so since there are the people who don't come from a training background or don't care about training or health and fitness and all I would like to point them out one you should it's not an expense it's an investment in yourself and investments in yourself are the best investments so taking that into account you do want to stay on top of it I have to be honest with myself I've been slacking in my own health um, just been not tracking um, being irregular with my workouts due to the stress of of uh, work so that that's an excuse I should never have let that happen but getting back into uh, beach lean shape uh, and yeah going on that route so um, that's what we're going to do and we're just going to take it from there so so I have a call with her at 9 a.m. the closing lady and we'll see um, one what she's gonna ask me what my closing rate is and or was at charter I actually don't know my closing rate so I'm about to look back and ask and or um, deal with it that on the back end because I actually do not know what my closing rate was uh, however that's something that they do require for that job so if I did I'm just gonna tell them I don't know it and deal with it that way there's a number of opportunities that come across my way so If you don't know your closing rate, you don't know your closing rate. I believe mine was like at least 20%, 20-30%. So, I know this is a part-time position, so I'll be working mostly weekends, selling for them, get extra income, and then also working on my selling closability uh, and believing that the product itself is the best. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna edit another video. There's, there's really only two clips in this, so I don't know if I'm gonna actually make this a full video or not. But anyways, I thank y'all for watching. Um, and I'm gonna run tomorrow, like really far. So good thing I ate all this food today. I'm my current macros. Uh, for those who are wondering, uh, with my phone. Ugh. Give me a second. My current macros. I am for around 180 grams of protein. Today was a terrible day for macros. I haven't have been ha I haven't been having too many good days for macros, but you know, it just kind of happens sometimes. So let's see. I went way over on protein, way under on carbs. So I actually ended up at 99 grams of fat, 208 grams of protein, 243 grams of carbs, 24 grams of fiber. So a little on fiber, but. I don't track greens, so if I throw a whole bag of veggies in a bowl or in a pan and saute them with whatever protein I like to put in there, I'll throw sweet potato. I am trying to eat uh, testosterone boosting foods um, after eating uh, Master T. Shout out Christopher Walker. Um, but yeah, so I actually had a bowl that I made that I didn't eat because I had uh, like tacos when I came home. Uh, that were homemade and avocado. For those of you who don't know, avocado was a great testosterone boosting food as well as uh, monosaturated fat, so satiating as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll let you guys go. I have uh, some calls and presentations I have to deal with, but it's gonna be a big, big year for me uh, and a big year for you guys because you guys are gonna. I'm gonna take you along, give you as much value as possible, and just show you guys what to and not to do when presenting with situations that are similar to mine or how to even get into a similar situation as me. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Peace. Oh, fuck, all right, so we're starting this vlog here at work. Um, we're at Charter, my little baby gym. And what we're gonna do, today is really one I'm gonna kind of come up with a change of belief that current people have that are either about fitness or about doing the gym, much like I'm already doing with the work that I'm doing for gym owners on B2B level. Uh, and then going forward, it's gonna also be looking into how 
can better relate to our customers. Uh, because one of the things that everyone I'm hearing is that everyone wants a better pitch so that when people actually come in and actually do want to sit down with them and you get to the closing table, which is where I'm sitting, so we call it the closing table, you're actually able to do the things that reflect, excuse me, that reflect um, closing attitude. So when I say closing attitude, what do I mean? I mean right mindset coming in, certainty in yourself and your product that can transmute to the prospect, as well as uh, having it where, this is what I was, I was told that they want, right? They want to be able to just have the pitch where they don't have to worry about trying to persist in the close and that's something they have to unlearn because you always have to persist in the close. If you're ever in a selling situation and someone's telling you, and someone's telling you that you don't have to persist in the close, they're fucking lying to you because almost always you will have to persist in and through that close to the point where it just needs to be done and it needs to happen. Like, you, you'll have to be able to overcome with objections unless you get hit with a hard no on the first call or the first sit down or the first whenever you're actually sitting down with them. At least you know they can make a decision and they move on. You're gonna get said no to more than you're gonna get said yes to. So, it's really dealing with how to overcome the objections and the rebuttals. Three most common that I've seen within the gym industry um, is I need to talk to my spouse. I need to, uh, I don't have time. And then uh, it's too much money. So, two of them, are really just because we didn't over deliver value. I need to talk to my spouse, it should be a snapshot decision of why they should want to be with us. Two, um, the, I don't have, it's too much money, again, it should be just over delivered of, of, of our product, should totally speak and overwhelm, overwhelm them with value to the point where they're like, this is fucking, I need to buy this. Like, but we're not doing that. We have disheartened, myself included, disheartened, um, trainers and everything else you don't feel like they're being compensated workers and everything and that comes down to fixing stuff at a core corporate level which is where I'm trying to get into so taking you on this journey uh, if you want to actually uh, chart off like your change of belief right the people who you're going to be talking to overall are going to be one the massage badge a lot as fuck um, is relating to your prospect. Because the more you can relate to your prospect, the easier time you're gonna have to actually close deals. So what you wanna do is set up a chain of belief, an experience, a story, and a epiphany chart. So change of belief is what they're currently gonna be thinking that would tell them not to sign up for training, not to sign up for a gym membership. What experiences would they have that told them that? Maybe it was failing at trying to lose weight before that makes them think that uh, personal training isn't worth it or not following through with something that makes them think that way. And then, what's the story that they tell themselves that keeps that in their mind? There was always an experience and a story they tell themselves. So, experience, they try to lose weight one time and failed. The story they tell themselves, I can't lose weight. That creates the chain, chain of belief that this isn't going to work. So, we have to relate to that, pull out the actual reverse engineer what they're thinking, and then give an offer that would change those things. So, let's say, I was once like you, I thought things weren't going to work. I tried to lose weight before myself as a trainer when I first started my journey and everything came to a point where I was just telling myself I can't do it, it's not going to work. And now I'm actually able to change that and it all started for me joining this gym. Right there, said and done. So. Uh, Creating and being able to reverse engineer what your, your client's core beliefs and chains of belief are, so you can have success. A little clip, welcome to the vlog, Coach V, Vince Castillo. That's pretty much it, see you next clip. So I was just walking the floor. A good thing to do when, let's say, you are... What are you I wanted to ask, uh, so... You mind, you mind if you be on my vlog? You can say no, bro. It's fine. Nah. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. I had to stop and talk with the prospect. Um, so, like, I mean, not everyone likes to be on camera. So, um, yeah. So, especially if you're at a gym and you gotta walk the floor or some shit. That's what I just did. Um, just walk the floor. I literally just try to give value. Like, I saw the guy who had shoulder pain. Asked him. Um, just gave him a stretch that he could do to hit the posterior muscles uh, going forward from that. So, really just try to give value, help spot. Um, that's going to be the first point of contact. You might not always be able to get a comp off of that. You shouldn't try to go to. You really should just be trying to get value. And then as you get to know you and you go to the core, then you go for the ask. Um, so yeah.
a little tip. All right, so for setting up the stable system, first thing you want to do is have your personal trainers find who their attractive character is. In this case, we have uh, four or five personal trainers. We see Jose, Herman, myself, I guess. I don't really consider myself a personal trainer anymore. Uh, Veronica, and Tony. So we have uh, five personal trainers. Now, you have each one identify who their attractive character is, and honestly, you can kind of identify this by just looking at who their current demographic is and who their current client. Uh, you can kind of just figure that out, and even subconsciously, the trainer may not even realize that they do have an attractive character. So just by doing something as like that, and just having them look at their current client base, you can kind of find who the majority is. It's probably their attractive character, um, their ideal client. So. A simple thing is, in this case, if you're a corporate gym and you're working off of a lead list, you want to work and talk and intermingle with each of the personal trainers to find that the first fact that, one, the personal trainers are going to each have an attractive character. Uh, from that attractive character, you better be able to find the personal trainers who have their demographic when you when you have your lead list and this is for sales as far as even if you're going through to and from uh, if you have a designated PT person who just sells PT I know LA Fitness you have this set up where you have designated uh, members who sell either or thing um, so with something like this uh, the ideal demographic for me is just anyone who is uh, or the people who most sell are the people who aren't above the age of uh, or above the age of 21 because they have the most resources. So I just highlight all the people who would be above. See all these 1997s, they don't have money, so I don't highlight them. Then you go through, 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 and as you highlight, you I, you only call these highlighted numbers because these are going to be, be the people who actually have the resources to even invest in personal training. So off of that aspect alone, you can kind of get a good lead list going uh, and just for who to call. So I'm going to go ahead and call this person right now on camera just so you guys can see. I'm going to be calling Brandon, oh, let me see. I'm going to be calling Brandon Caldwell. Um, so if you want to move down the list, I just use my computer because I keep track on a Google Sheet. Uh, as you move down the list, you just kind of slide up and as you slide up, you'll be able to just get each number. So right now we're going to call that first highlight number. I'm going to do it on camera so you guys can see how I go ahead and do this. So I keep track of all the calls that I make. I use an app called Tape a Call Light. I don't know as far as with, because I work at a gym that doesn't have a lot of systems in place and organization is pretty shit. I use an app on my own to keep track of this stuff. Um, and I do just for educational purposes. So I'm able to actually listen to the calls at the end and listen to the objection and overcome the bugs. So let's go ahead. Is this Brandon? How you doing, Brandon? Uh, my name is uh, Vince Castillo. I'm actually calling you today from the uh, Charter Fitness in North Riverside. What's up, man? Are you at uh, Are you at work right now? Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, what. What's the best time for me to call you back at? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. I'll go ahead and call you at two. All right. All right. So we see there is that uh, pretty much he was at work, which is, you know, actually find a majority of the time during the day, the best time to actually pull call is when people are at work. So starting from, I call it outside, there's the telemarketing law here uh, in Illinois where you're um, not supposed to call. You still call during that period, but you could, I don't know, you can actually get the registered business, you know, you're just kind of a free person doing it on your own. And, the business can't be blamed, but going forward, pretty much what I did was I just went a, uh, I went and that, that was called a, uh, getting actual time clothes, right? So he was at work, uh, honorable mention. Um, you can't really, most people, if they are actually busy at work, they don't want to be interrupted, but they answer the phone because it's just uh, an eight thing. Everyone has their phone on, they get the dopamine response when they answer the phone. So behavior-wise, you're going to want to pick it up. Now, 
I got a set block time down. He's going to be a follow-up back at 2 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and call him back at 2 to make sure I go ahead and get that number. So that was the first person on the list, and that's pretty much how you do. So the greeting, you're just going to say your greeting when you call. Say your name. Two. Uh, after you say your name, you're just going to go ahead and state who you're with. So uh, most times if you're just a random person, you are going to have to say you're with an organization for them to have that mental click uh, to actually take the call. Otherwise, you'll just be a random person. Now, if, especially if they don't know you and you're coming across as very friendly, how I do, um, it's going to be off-putting unless you're able to actually have a good rebuttal uh, to play off of that. So. Going down, down the next list, I'm going to do a couple more calls for you guys on camera. Uh, I'm going to call Diana Torres next, 1984. Uh, yeah, let's keep going down the list. So I'm just going to be talking to the camera, if you don't mind. Yeah, no. Uh, so up. Bill here uh, has been saying he's been having some anterior shoulder pain as far as with uh, doing shoulder movements. So he's showing me right now how he hits his posterior deltoid. So he does have an inverted shoulder look, but overall, I'm just trying to see how it goes. So are you feeling it in your tricep or are you feeling it in your posterior deltoid? I'm, hold on. I'm feeling it right now. Here? No, no, no. Here? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's actually your posterior deltoid. That's what you want. That's where you want to feel it. So your form here seems to be fine, but... Uh, you, well, that's, you, that's, thanks, that's thanks to him right there. Yeah. Because he... I was all over the place. I was... Let me just show you. He had a fit. He had a fit. I was going. Okay, you ready? Go ahead. Yeah, it's too far back. He a rotator cuff. Yeah. So, so he was showing me. You know, you want to have good form. But yeah. So Bill's problem isn't that he has. Well, but initially when he did that first movement, he was going too far back. But now that he actually fixed it, it's not the problem that he's not activating his posterior deltoid because you said you feel it in your rear yeah. delt. So now it's more so of just sheer volume because right now you've been overworking your front delt Absolutely. to the point where that's a lot more stronger and it will over uh, overbear and take over on movements because the posterior deltoid is weak. So really it's just now getting in enough volume on your rear delts to pull the shoulder back to where it is. And that's addressing back more. So like for me, my programming and like everything that I do, I do more back days. Because I do so much pressing, initially when I first started lifting, obviously that's what everyone does, they stretch a lot and they do curls. That's pretty much what I did. So uh, I had the same inverted shoulder look and I had to fix it by actually focusing on rowing like I showed you and having that constant retracted shoulder right. look to actually bring it back. Oh, I still always try to give value. Like I said, that's the most important part of sales is that people don't ever understand this shit. But there's a quote by Zig Ziglar that really sums it up and I'll sum it up in an even better way. You can help whatever, you can have and help whoever you want in life. <laughs> I've already fucked it up. You can have whatever you want in life as long as you help everyone else get what they want in life. That's true. So I'm calling back the guy who said to call him after he got off work. We'll see if he picks up. If not, I'm just going to leave a voicemail. But really, it's just continually following up all the time, day after day. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voicemail. So he probably just got off work right three, now. Three, one, two, five. I'll merge the call and I'll show you where it's at. It's not Hey, how you doing, Brandon? I'm actually just uh, returning to call. This is uh, Vince Castillo calling from uh, the Charter Fitness in North Riverside. Uh, he's sitting out for two, so I'm just giving you a little call back. But uh, I'm assuming you're probably uh, in the call or just driving home or got your hands busy. So I'll call you back uh, in about an hour uh, just to see when you want to actually go ahead and uh, have, a, have a time to talk. But other than that, uh, have a safe drive home, man. Bye bye. Uh, I totally missed it, but pretty much Vic full time. Yo, so we're at the hospital. <laughs> Visiting this old guy and this old gal. Um, been here for a couple hours. Stopped by Absolution, Absolution CrossFit. Got the owner's number. I'm going to give him a call tomorrow. Um, trying to fine tune my three step follow up system. I got to go home and edit and then also like cook and eat for our plan my day for tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, see you guys at home.
kill leverage this Adolf Hitler has. All right, um, so currently, uh, just got a call from my business partner, Moon, um, generated some strategy sessions for me to close tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, so we're gonna do that. And then uh, off of that, we're also gonna uh, making him access to all the stuff that he needs to get made access to. And then we're going to just uh, keep working. So I'm gonna send him the user so he can log in. But from that, really, it's um, that's what we're gonna do. And I'll show you guys a little bit about the email automation stuff tomorrow. Excuse me, and with the next day going forward, but really just gonna be um, try to record these sales for you too that you're gonna see. Other than that, really, really excited. So, really excited. So, because I need the money. But yeah, closing people a day at a time. And just try to remember number one rule is you can have whatever you want in life. Whatever you want in life. As long as you help everyone else get what they want that's been this vlog hope you guys enjoyed it peace